In Microsoft Publisher, you can easily adjust rows and columns in tables. In order to do that, I'm going to make a table right here. And in the table, I'm going to expand this and I'm going to click uh, this thing right here, the preset. So over here, if you want to change the row and column size, you can actually select this and you can go out to the layout tab right here. So you can increase the height and the width of the entire column just like this. So you want to define a size, you can actually just go over here, increase the height, decrease the height, increase the width, or you can even type in the width and height. For example, I say I want the width to be 5 and the height to be 1.5 just like this. Press enter and there you go. That's the width and height right there. You can also grow to fit text. So if I were to type in things like this, you can see that the entire uh, height of the column actually just grows just like that. Let me just press delete. But if I were to disable that out, you can see that it actually overlaps. So if I were to increase this in size, you can see that everything just overlaps right there. And I actually have to manually pull it out to adjust everything. I'm going to press Ctrl All and delete right here. And now if I want to change it in further ways, I can actually select all of this. I can right click and I can go to table properties. So I can go over here. I can go into format table and here in the size section you can see that you can add in the within height right here so you can also add in the within height according to uh, the percentage right here so let's say I want to uh, make it 150 percent press ok there's a 150 percent uh, right here and 100 percent right here I also go over here go for format table and I can also lock aspect ratio if I were to do that now if I were to resize for example, if I were to go over here in format table, uh, in the size, if I were to increase this, you can see that everything else changes in proportion. So if I were to increase the height, it uh, locks at, uh, it has locked the aspect ratio, so the width changes at the same rate. So you can see that the aspect ratio has been maintained just like that. So over here, you can also adjust the data. For example, I have all of these data right here, and you can see that now everything is aligned to the top left. And right now, if I want to align, th this is there by default, aligned to the top left. If I want to align it to the center left, I can simply click this one right here. So it's aligned to the center left and bottom left right here. I can also select this one. I can also select all of it and align them all together just like this. So this is top left, center left, bottom left. This is top center, center, from all sides and bottom center right here, uh, top right, uh, center center right, and bottom right, just like that. So I usually like to leave it at the center so everything looks equal. So usually you can see that uh, you can also go over here and change the um, uh, change the place where you want the text to be. So once I once I actually type it in, you can see that everything adjusts quite naturally, just like that. And the design is actually there. I can also insert and remove columns right here. So let's say I just want to remove this column right here. I can right click and I can uh, just delete this right here. Go over here. I can delete the entire table or I can delete the rows or columns right here, as you can see. So I'm going to say delete rows and that row has been deleted. If I want to add in a row, I can simply press tab at the end column and another row will be added. I can press tab and another row will be added just like that. I can also go over here and click on uh, insert below by going on to layout. So insert below means rows is being insert below, inserted below and insert above means if I want to insert one above, I can simply say insert above just like that. I can also insert one to the left just like that and one to the right. So I can go over here, insert one to the right, just like that. So I can zoom out and you can see that there is the table data ranged out just like that. You can even go into layout. So you can see over here, you can insert column uh, and you can insert the rows um, just like that. You can also go for uh, delete all of the tables. So if you have to click this, you can delete uh, columns, rows and tables right from here as well. So if you want to merge cells, you can select two of the cells. You can merge them all together to create the look you want. So you can simply click and drag, merge the cells. Or if you want to split the cells, you can also go for split the cells. And there you go. The cells have been split uh, back, as you can see right here. So you can select it out. You can merge cells, split cells, just like that as well. So that is how you can work with 
uh, table rows and columns inside of Microsoft Publisher. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.